All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the 38th Global World Tournament is going to be starting in about two days from now. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick preview of everything that you need to know about this tournament to get you guys fully prepared. Now, this one is probably going to be one of the most eventful world tournaments we've had on Global in a long time, mainly because of the ridiculous number of new units and awakenings that we're going to be getting with it. It really feels like they're trying to play catch up with the JP tournament. And honestly, I'm not really sure why, but of course, I'm not complaining because it definitely gives us more stuff to do. So this time around, the World Tournament Reward Unit is going to be this tech, Super Saiyan Youth Gohan. Everyone will be able to receive a free copy of him by achieving 23 million points in the tournament. And then you can get additional copies by ranking in the top 20,000 overall. Obviously, the higher you rank, the more copies you get. From there, we have four Dokkan Awakenings. Four Token Awakenings for older World Tournament units, namely the Tech Perfect Cell, the STR Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, the Fizz Mighty Mask, and also the Fizz Max Power Jackie Chun. And on top of that, there's also a brand new World Tournament LR for the local ranking reward replacing the Tech Demon King Piccolo. It's now going to be the STR Mercenary Tau. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six new units slash awakenings that we're going to be getting. But on top of that, we're also getting two brand new summonable units for the World Tournament Ticket Banner. So a grand total of eight new units or awakenings for this tournament, which, like I said, is absolutely ridiculous. So now let's pop over to the unit details. And we're going to start with the one that I'm assuming most people are the most excited for because it is a new LR after all, right? So we have the STR Bloodstained Sanctuary LR Mercenary Tau. His leader skill is DB Saga, category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%, 12 key super, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage with a high chance of performing a critical hit. And then 18 key super, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and high chance of performing a critical hit. So essentially, this guy has a built-in 50% chance to crit, just like the uh, LR SSB Vegeta, UI Goku, um, also the Fizz Trunks. 50% chance to crit, just built into the unit. So obviously, when it comes to the hidden potential, you don't really need to give him more crit. You could, obviously, but it's not really a great idea. 50% chance to crit is already very, very high. His passive is attack and defense plus 5,648 per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 7,564 per key sphere with three or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10,108 when performing a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 10,108 when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. So just like all of the other world tournament LRs, he does get flat boosts as opposed to percentage boosts, which you know is not ideal, but the flat boosts he does get are very high. So he's still gonna be hitting really hard, especially with the built-in 50% chance to crit, and his defense will be pretty impressive as well. So overall, I think he's a very powerful free-to-play LR, definitely very excited for him, especially because he also has an active skill, which can be activated when HP is 50% or less after the character receives attack three or more times in battle once only. It massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage, and also guarantees to stun the enemy for one turn. So there you go, that is the STR LR Mercenary Tau. Oh, I forgot about his links. Uh, Crane's Cool, Supreme Warrior, Coward, Royal Beatdown, Doran Ray, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. 
in categories like Dragon Ball Seekers, DB Saga, Siblings Bond, Target Goku, Earthlings, and Sworn Enemies. So there you go. That is the new World Tournament LR Mercenary Tau. Uh, as I said, man, I think he's quite good. And anybody that puts in even the tiniest amount of effort into this upcoming World Tournament will be able to get at least one copy of him because all you gotta do is rank in the top 150 for your local group, which is pretty easy to do, right? So uh, now let's move on to the Tech Super Saiyan Youth Gohan. Uh, leader skill is Tech Types, Q plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises defense and causes supreme damage and passive is attack and defense plus 158% reduces damage received by 30% when facing only one enemy, plus an additional attack and events plus 58% when there is another Goku's family category ally on the team. Links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, Gates of Respect, Z Fighters, and All in the Family, and categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, Super Saiyans, Android slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, Rapid Growth, Heavenly Events, and Attained Evolution. So, of course, this kid Gohan, is uh, not awakened yet so he will be even better in the future when he eventually gets that token awakening but i mean as an ssr uh that's a pretty dope passive man 158 percent attack and defense 30 percent damage reduction and then 58 percent more attack and defense with another goku's family unit on your team which you know, is really easy to satisfy, right? So you can easily get his full passive, and he's getting over 200% attack and defense, 30% damage reduction. Um, he's gonna be a pretty decent tank, you know, if you don't have better tanks, if you need a unit that can stack defense and also get damage reduction. Um, I think this Kid Gohan is gonna be a pretty good option for, you know, the LGE, uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History, and other longer events like that. So very, very solid world tournament unit right there and we also have this new str goku who's going to be summonable on the world tournament ticket banner so hopefully you guys have been saving your tickets for the past couple of tournaments to give yourselves a decent chance to pull this guy so his leader skill is str types q plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent super attack supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy and passive is attack and defense plus 159%, launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5%, with each attack performed up to 59%, and medium chance of performing a critical hit. I mean, what are these world tournament units, man? This is another pretty crazy passive, so... Uh, essentially, once you're fully stacked up, over 200% attack and defense, you can launch potentially like four supers in a turn if you have dupes or uh, skill orbs, and he also has a 30% chance, 30% built-in chance to crit, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, this Goku looking very good, and once again, just like the Gohan, no awakening yet, so he should be quite a monster with a token awakening in the future. Links are all in the family, Turtle School, Infighter, Talking Speed, Saiyan Lineage, Incredible Adventure, and categories are World Tournament, Low Class Warrior, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Turtle School, and Bond uh, of Friendship. So yeah, there's the Goku, and we also have another new unit, which is this Int, I forgot exactly how to pronounce her name, I, I'm gonna go with Anin, or is it Anin? It's either a Nin or on Nin. I know it's based off Almond, so maybe it's on Nin, like Almond. I don't really know. Anyways, uh, leader skill is Int Types, Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack. And then passive is attack and defense plus 120%, Q plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when HP is 60% or more. And then Peppy Gal's category allies attack plus 20% and defense plus 10%. Realm of Gods category allies attack plus 20% and defense plus 10% and recovers 6% HP at the start of turn. Links are the Innocent, More Than Meets the Eye, Infighter, uh, Battlefield Diva, Incredible Adventure, and Guidance of the Dragon Balls. And categories are Peppy Gal's and Realm of Gods. 
So she's also going to be a summonable unit on the World Tournament Ticket Banner. And uh, she's a pretty good support unit. Obviously, when it comes to Peppy Gals and Realm of Gods, there's not really a lot of crossover. But still, Peppy Gals' attack plus 20%, defense plus 10% is, is solid. And then she's giving herself a really good attack and defense boost, right? 180%. Um, so yeah, I like this unit as well. Definitely want to get her as well as the Goku on the ticket banner. And now let's talk about these awakenings. So we got the tech perfect cell. Leader skill is tech type skill plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. Passive is attack and defense plus 120%. Extreme class key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%. Nice. Super class enemies, defense minus 60%, high chance of launching an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies. Links, Gentlemen, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, Ultimate Life Form, and Shattering the Limit. So this cell is a good extreme class support for sure. Um, outside of that, you know, not the most impressive. I like the debuffing of super class enemies. Um, launching. An additional super, high chance of launching additional super is good, but only when facing two or more enemies. And considering the fact that, you know, most of the time in this game, you are facing only one enemy, um, you're not going to be getting that a lot. Maybe like, I don't know, 30 to 40% of the time you're running him. But uh, good awakening. Good awakening overall. Now, moving on to the STR Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. Leader skill is STR type, skill plus 2, HP attack and events plus 70%, super attack. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack reformed up to 58%. Super class allies, Q plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%, plus an additional Q plus 3, and attack and defense plus 58% when there is an extreme class enemy. Extreme class enemy's defense minus 58%. So a lot of similarities here to the uh, tech cell, I would say that between the two, um, I guess the same man's gonna be a little bit more consistent just because there's no part of his passive that requires you to be facing a certain number of enemies. So on average, he's gonna be hitting harder and getting more defense than the cell. Of course, with cell, if you're facing two enemies, that additional super is huge. But I would probably prefer say a man oversell most of the time although of course one is for super teams one is for extreme teams so it's not necessarily like you're really choosing one over the other for a certain team right anyways links are golden warrior super saiyan tracking speed hero of justice prepare for battle the saiyan lineage and shattering the limit and last but not least oh actually no we have two more we have the Fizz Mighty Mask, Token Awakening, Leader Skill, Fizz Types Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%, Super Attack greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes Supreme Damage, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 150%, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 150% when facing only one enemy, evades enemies' attacks, including Super Attacks, for one turn, when HP is 50% or less, once only, and after that, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when HP is 50% or less. Evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for one turn, when HP is 30% or less. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, if you're below 30% HP, right, he gets guaranteed dodge. And I think that's forever. Like, every time you're below 30% HP, he's going to be getting guaranteed dodges, which is pretty crazy, right? And on top of that, he's getting 150% plus 150%, so 300% attack and defense when facing only one enemy, which is often the case. And then you have the, you know, guaranteed dodge one time when below 50%. After that, it becomes high chance. When below 50%, which is still good, and then the guaranteed dodge below 30% HP can be super clutch, man. Just imagine in a situation where you know you almost kill the enemy, but you're really low on HP, you don't have any items left. These guys 
can clutch it for you, man. Those those guaranteed dodges can become very, very clutch. So, uh, interesting character design for sure. Massive boost, um, very unique passive for this dodging. Uh, really interesting Dokken Awakening for sure. Lynx, Super Saiyan, uh, World Terminal Reborn, More Than Meets the Eye, The Innocence, Shocking Speed, Flea, and then Shattering the Limit. So that's the Mighty Mask. And last but not least now, we have the Fizz Max Power, Jackie Chun. Leader skill is Fizz Type, skill plus 2. HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is key plus 1 up to 3, and attack and defense plus 20% up to 80% at the start of each turn. Attack and defense plus 150% when performing a super attack. And then Kamehameha category allies key plus 3 and attack plus 30%. Okay, so this is honestly the part that I'm the most excited for because Kamehameha, as amazing of a category as it is, doesn't have a lot of support units. I mean, at least not any like specific Kamehameha support, you know? So like having Jackie Chun as an option now, uh, I'll probably run him fairly often because I like having at least one to two support on every one of my teams. And uh, yeah, now we have a new one. So that's pretty awesome. Lynx, our Supreme Warrior, World Tournament Champion, Guided to the Dragon Balls, The Incredible Adventure, Brainiacs, Kamehameha, and Shattering the Limit. And there you go, guys. Those are all of the new uh, units slash Dokken Awakenings that are coming with World Tournament 38 on Global in two days. Aside from that, there's nothing else that's going to be really uh, new. Like I said, if you rank in the top 20,000, you can get additional copies of the Kid Gohan. So above 20,000, you get one copy. Above 10,000, you get two copies. Above 5,000, three. And then above uh, 2,000, you get four and so on and so forth, all the way up to number one, where you get 15 copies. And then for your local rewards, you're looking at two copies of the Mercenary Tau for first, and then one copy between the 150th to the second, right? And then you have your missions, uh, total number of wins up to 20 for some stones and other rewards. You have the different tiers. You have uh, your score rewards from 1,000 to 30 million. And then you also have some uh, missions too. So we have the daily missions for three stones per day. Make sure to do those. And you also have some other missions for some medals and all that good stuff. And since we're getting all these awakenings, you'll probably want to make sure you uh, get all the medals we can since, you know, in total, I think all the awakenings cost something like a hundred about 100 medals. So long-term players, you should be fine, but if you're newer, uh, it might take you a second to collect all these medals. Of course, there are those stages in the actual tournament where you have like the broken gate, where you can collect medals as well. So make sure you pay attention to those. And um, there you go, guys. That is your 38th Global World Tournament Preview. Hopefully you guys found this video useful in some way. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.